officials of this match. First referee, Mr. Lumor Paharili. Second referee, Mr. Ryan Vincent Corpus. Now let's call on the starters for the Cherry Tigo crossovers. Let's begin with their team captain at number seven, Mayrin Paat. Jersey number five, Aini Hernandez. Wearing jersey number eight, Egia Laure. At number nine, Energy Laure. Wearing jersey number 18, Joyme Cagande. At number 22, Pauline Gaston. Starting the barrel is number 24, Budin de Durandes. Head coach is Mr. Aaron Velez. Introducing your starters for your Chocomucho Flying Titans. Let's begin with number one, Marina Nina Isabel Molde. Wearing jersey number three, Dina Wong. At number four, Caitlin Vidal. Wearing jersey number seven, Madeline Madayag. Wearing jersey number 18, Cherry Ann Rondina. At number 22, Cherry Rose Nuna. Starting libero is number 16, Tony Rose Ponce. Head coach is Mr. Dante Alinsonuri. This is match number 30 between Cherry Tigo crossovers and Chocomucho Flying Titans. Here are your starters. Start a new way to watch the PBL via the Philippines Live app. Download and subscribe now for as low as 99 pesos per month. Buding Durandes as the libero and joining me, Kagande will set up Aimi, Pauline, Mylene, Eya, and EJ. While we go to the Chocomucho Flying Titan side, Tang Ponce will be a starting libero as Dina Wong sets up Isa Molde, Cici Rondina, Kate Viray, Cherry Nunag, and Madi Madayag. Good morning, everyone. We're at the Phil Sports Arena here in Pasig City. And we started off. Hope you guys got your breakfast already because we're going to serve you some vo volleyball action with the Cherry Tigo crossovers against the Chocomucho Flying Titans. Yanni Mayo here with Doc AJ Pareja and Kaila Castillo to set off set number one. Doc AJ. Both these teams, we mentioned in the pregame, they're in middle ground. So how will they step up from one another? What are you expecting? Well, as we mentioned in the pregame, Chocomucho has the upper hand when it comes to their net play, while Cherry Tigo is a much more balanced team when it comes to stats. But both teams have to step up with their first ball. And as we can see in that rally, a little bit off with the first ball, so Virai wasn't able to go for a full swing. Double block uh, there by the Cherry Tigo side. I able to anticipate uh, Cherry Nunag as she soared with Joy Mikaganda here on the service line. Cherry up uh, by one. Tang Ponce with the first ball. Dina will go to Cece in the middle. And just like that, Cherry Rondina getting the first point for the Flying Titans. Flying in that middle. As she sets uh, herself up here in the service line, all the way from Cebu. First ball here by Eya Kagande. Ponce. Dina goes to Isa. Cross court. The thing was there. Battle at the net. Won by Chocomucho. Cherry Tego will try. Block. Coverage by Aimi. Mylene Pat. Chocomucho stuck in the mud, and this is a good opportunity to go to Kyla Castillo for this reward. Kyla, this game all out to me at ibibigay namin yung lahat. This is what Maylin pa told me earlier. Pero bago kami dumako sa conversation na ito, we first had a talk about acceptance. Dahil sabi nga niya, sa tagal niyang naglalaro, hindi pa rin daw ganun kadali tanggapin na hindi sa lahat ng pagkakataon ay mananalo ka kahit ibigay mo yung best mo. It's all about timing. As she mentioned, with 70% 70, 70 of the team being rookies, there is still so much work to do, especially in terms of connection and chemistry. Nevertheless, for now, their willingness to adjust on and off the court is what they're banking on. Relive this game and all PVL games and stories anytime, anywhere on the P Pilipinas Live app. Download and subscribe now for as low as 99 pesos per month. Back to you, Yanni and AJ. Thank you, Kyla, for that report. As we mentioned, Cherry Tigo here 
uh, needs to adjust, of course, with all of their rookies. But we see that Mylene Pat gets a third score on the board for the girls in red. Yeah, uh, Mylene Pat digging deep from her history as a middle player from her days in college. <laughs> Easy for her to find that end line. As we see Amy Hernandez settling herself down. Three to two ball game at the moment. Set one here. Good morning, everyone joining us on Pilipinas Live One Sports. Isa Molde! Cross court attack is good. That's textbook play for an outside hitter. Getting that perfect pass and just being patient with the set. Going for that sharp cross card kill. Both teams showing really good energy, and all of the fans really came out for this morning game. Kate Virai, too strong for her as she gives that point over to Cherry Tego. Kate Virai, as we see Mylene Paat on the service line. Coach Aaron Velas here in the sidelines discussing things with his players. First ball by Isa. Dina makes away with the underhand set. Kagande will go to Aya. On the line there for Aya Laura as she gets her first point on the board. Yeah, good strategy for Cherry Tigo to target Molde with their service initially, eliminating her from the equation in the offense. Service. Let's see if they're going to do the same target. Mylene Pat continues to serve here. Lisa Molde, Dina goes to Maggie. Buding sets up. Aya. Collision here on the Chocomucho side. Reverse set. Attack was read by Aya Laura herself. It's a three point game right now in set number one. Yeah, the second block point for Cherry Tigo. Laura just reading perfectly Adayat's slide attempt. Mylene continues to serve here. Let's see if they can make a run with this. From the back, CC Rondina. Over receive. This was Chocamucho's chance to get a score, yes. AJ. Yeah, I was just about to say that uh, if uh, Wong is finding some struggles with Madaya and Molde up front, they could go to CC Rondina with a pipe. But, yeah, even they were surprised by their own firepower. <laughs> Some shocked faces on the court. Uh, the girls in purple. And Cherry Tigo will be given another point as Mylene Pat continues to serve here. Dina goes to Madi. Buding, Kagande. To Pauline. Pauline finds a way. Soft touch as she sends us over to a first technical timeout. We'll be back. Bingo Plus, the first live streaming bingo in the Philippines. Welcome back to the Phil Sports Arena here in Pasig City. We have a 5-0 run courtesy of Cherry Tego. And Mylene Paat has been on the service line so far. Um, some miscommunication over on the Chocomucha side uh, as Mylene was able to... Oh, Pauline! Gaston was able to send us over to our first technical timeout. And Tang Ponce started here in this game. Uh, Lazaro Revilla was the one who started in their previous game. So we see Coach Dante kind of switching it up uh, in their last match here in the Invitational Conference. 8-3 to three ball game right now. It's set number one. Both teams wanting to end 
the Invitational Conference on a high and get that seventh rank here. Paat continues to serve. And that one sails outside for the Cherry Tigo squad. Coach Kung Fu brings up the ball in, ball out challenge. First challenge of the match. So AJ, when uh, for the newer viewers, ball in, ball out challenge, what does it entail? What can uh, we see in the challenge for this? So uh, the coaching staff are like contesting the call. The, they think that the ball went actually in. Mm. So if uh, the challenge is good, then it's going to be a service ace for Mama P. Mama P has been on the service line and of course referees here reviewing the challenge with their many cameras. We see the angle. Yeah, by a hair. Wow. <laughs> by a hair. So that's a successful challenge. Catches the line barely. Wow, Coach Aaron, sharp eyes over the Cherry Tigo squad. And that will be their ninth point. So they have two challenges left. They'll only be deducted challenges if it was unsuccessful. Oh, Shank! Service A, second service A by Mylene Pat. And a timeout will be called over to Coach Dante Alin Sunurin. Let's listen to what he has to say over on the Chocomucho Flying Titan side. Kailangan niya mag-usap po sa lalo sa block. Yes. Ah, hindi naman importante, ma-block ma natin, importante na gagayad natin yung likod natin. Okay, coach. Okay? Lagi, pag may pumapalo, may dalawang mga-block, meron guys. Okay. Okay? Oh, sige, sige. Adjust lang tayo sa receiver. Adjust lang sa receiver. Okay? Sige. Eh, Chokomucho! Titan Prime! Specific instructions there by Coach Dante. He emphasized na when they block, there needs to be someone. There also needs to be a good receive. AJ, can you explain to us what that uh, absorbs us as a yeah. player? Yeah, uh, he was uh, gently reminding the players that when it comes to blocking, they already got it. Like, they're the number one blocking team in the league right now. So it's all about just getting the first pass with their reception. They have to... Uh, dedicate who is really in charge of the areas just like that oh. the scene between molde and rendina has been like a target for cherry tigo attack from the back line gate Virai stops the run of cherry tigo stops the bleeding for chocomucho to go up by four as we check it out more closely here in this replay uh, this is something that the flying titans could really capitalize on is their back row attack they have rendina they have Virai who can attack from the back so they always have at least two options save for those who are up front enjoy me back set Ooh. and the first referee calls the point for chocomucho double contact here uh, over on the cherry tigo side Gande looking to split the blockers she knew that there was no block for pat from the right side Lisa Molde will serve after the Cherry Tigo run. Over on two play by Joymi. CC will make a way. And in front of Mama P, CC scores a six point. This advantage of her history being a beach volleyball player, even if it's off system, as long as it's high enough, it's going to be e easy for CC to convert it. Wow. Right through Joymi Kagande and her block. Ooh, service ace there for Isa Molde. Ella Laure regretfully wasn't able to keep that ball in play. It's 7 to 10 right now. Chocomucho giving Cherry a dose of their own medicine, targeting that zone 5 line. EJ was able to get that one. Colleen makes a way. Join me, chooses a uh, adjustment mid air. Over receive here by Chocomucho. Buding will set up. Aya Laure. Blocked coverage by Cherry Tigo, though. Dina goes to Isa. Join me back to Aya. Adjustment. Big. Cece. Wow. 
inside and even to Amucho is stunned. Yeah. So that's that is why she's an athlete. <laughs> Imagine all the off-system play, just rolling the shot. That's a beach volleyball move. <laughs> wow. And Choco now yeah. is on a five to zero run. As you said, giving Cherry a taste of their own medicine. It's not a strong attack, but it's perfectly placed, right on the money. Right, and Cece was the one who dug, and then she got up yeah. and <laughs> she scored. Well, that's typical beach volleyball play. <laughs> you dig, you attack. <laughs> Cherry has it. Aya, off speed. Dina will choose Cece again. Cece on Dina. For this girl and right on to coach Aaron Velez. We'll call for a timeout. Rally his troops. We check out the replay more closely as bodies scramble on the court. But CC will find a way for the girls in purple. We go to coach Aaron and let's listen in. <laughs> Tapos, yung dalawa doon, oh, hindi tayo aggressive sa pasa. Mabilis yung daan ng bola, pero yung kamay natin, ladies, hindi kailangan natin sobrang relax. Maganda yung kalmado, pero kailangan natin. Coach Aaron reminding his girls na di dapat sobrang kalmado uh, going up against the Chocomucho side. Chocomucho was able to to just come back up, find their spark. It's now a yeah. one-point game. Yeah, and unfortunately, the matchup right now when it comes to the rotation, Kaganda is up front while Rondina is up front. So expect Cherry to go a lot of down-the-line attacks. Speaking of attack, Mylene Pat says, nope, they're going to get their next score. Uh, we check it out here in this replay. That reverse set to Mylene in the middle of the two blockers of Chocomucho. So Aya was having some difficulties with executing a point while up front, but as we mentioned in the pregame, Mama P is there to take charge. Mama P ready to carry. Madi Madayag though too strong in that uh, ball sails out. 12 a serving nine here in set number one. Aya, Dina, to CC co combination play. CC sets up Kate. Ooh, she had a little bit of hesitation yeah. there. Yeah, definitely, it's the hesitation. She knew she it was off system, so trying to go for a soft shot, but her arm was way low. Now Cherry Tigo, 13 on the board. Jokomucho stuck at nine. Aya continues to serve. Ponce with the first ball to CC. Who catches the line? Yeah, just expect a lot of attacks for CC going above the block of Gande. Would have been interesting if it's Mama P who she's up against up front. <laughs> up against up front. Yeah. For Chokomucha, it's in their best interest not to do a lot of combinations in the middle because uh, there's a tremendous uh, advantage of CC over Kagande. Joy Me sets up Mama P. And that one sails out in favor of the Chocomucha side. Coaches will not challenge that. It's 11 to 13 on the scoreboard. Maddie settles herself down for the serve. Aya first ball, join me, she says. EJ Buding pushes it. Goes to CC. Mylene Pat this time with a push. Lina will go to CC again, and she powers through. Colleen and join me. One point game here in set number one. Yeah, expect a lot of those plays while CC is up front. 
Wong just has to push the ball as close to the antenna as possible so CC has can use her uh, reach advantage against Magande. And CC isn't even the tallest player. Yeah, but she, her, her elevation. Right? <laughs> oh, that catches the antenna for EJ Laure giving that point to Chocomucho and it's our deadlock at 13. Cherritigo finding some struggles with executing points from the left side. The sisters EJ and Aya just have one point for Aya. Pat 13. only, yeah, Pat, the only one who has the highest scorer so far for mm -hmm. Cherry. Good set and attack, Cherry Nudag. Mylene Paat will send it. Lina goes back to CC. Aya got that one as Joymi will go to her sister EJ. Just at the net. Aya with that dig. CC, Dina will go to the back this time for Isa Molde and Isa finds the line as she scores for the Tokomucho squad. So this is what's working now for Tokomucho. A lot of players ready to attack from all angles while with Cherry is just as I mentioned, Pat, who has done some damage with the scoring department. And we saw that replay, Buding actually, iniwasa niya, kala niya out. But Isa just uh, found the line with that attack, and Madi will continue to serve 14 to 13 right now. Attack points, Charitigo with six, Chocomucho at nine. And the point goes to Charitigo, courtesy of Pauline Gaston. Pongay Gaston, two out of three attempts so far, doing really good for Charitigo, but they need a lot of help from the left side. Especially with EJ Laure, six attempts, no score so far. Aya had eight with just one point. So not their best of percentages. Bonga with that serve. Then then on the court, Cherry Nunag, as we mentioned, towers over and gets it off of a swipe of the Cherry Pigle side. Cherry Nunag answering. That middle attack by Gaston with a quick attack of her own. Gina Wong sends the crowd on a frenzy as she served. Tang Ponce was there. CC powerful attack, a chase by Isa Molto. Dina will send it over. Aimee Hernandez, too strong for the former USC Golden Tigress. And Chocomucho will send us to our second technical timeout. It's 16 to 14, and we'll be back with more volleyball action. Watch the best basketball players in the globe and cheer them on live inside the venues. The FIBA Basketball World Cup 2023. Single game pass is now available for as low as 499 pesos. Get your tickets at SM Tickets, uh, Ticketnet, or Philippines Ticketing.WorldCup.Basketball. It's a PBL Invitational Conference and the fiery match between the Cherry Tiggle crossovers and the Chocomucho Flying Titans. Thank you to all of the fans who joined us in this wonderful morning. It doesn't feel like a morning. <laughs> it feels like we've been playing games uh, since, you know, maybe the midnight or like, it seems like a third game. The energy is intense. Dina Wong with a serve. Nadine Taat blocked. EJ Laura made away. Chocomucho goes to Kibirai. Inside for the girls in purple. So as we mentioned a while ago in the pregame, CC Rondina definitely the game changer here. When she moved up in the front line, that's when Chocomucho did a lot of run. 
And now with her three-point lead. Aya with the first ball. They go to EJ, her sister. Jaime chooses EJ again over the double block. Dina to Sisi. Yes, court power by Sisi Rondina. Sisi Rondina, seven out of 14 attempts. A whopping 50% efficiency. Yeah, it's going to be a mortal sin to just put up a single block against Sisi Rondina. Cherry Tigo trying to limit those mistakes now. As you see, Jaisal Dolos Reyes on the court for the Cherry Tigo crossovers. Coach Aaron trying to vary that up. And that sails out for Chocomucho as Cherry goes up to 15. A little too much power in that Regalo attempt by Caitlin Viray. Jaisal did not see action in their last game against PLDT. Dina to Cherry. Quick set and attack there. Duramdes goes to Eileen. Off speed hit. Caitlin Viray. Off of a wipe of the Cherry to go hands. Caitlin Viray making up for that previous error by an attack off the block of Aya Laure. EJ Laure, rather. CZ run Dina on the service line. Sends us to a frenzy. Joymi goes to Mylene. Tang Ponce was there. Dina to the back. CC soars. JSL with an up. Dina chooses Kate. Off speed hit. Buding runs. From the back. Aya Laure stops the bleeding. Cherry Tigo goes up to 16. Aya Laure finally gets her second point out of nine attempts. Not her usual numbers when it comes to scoring. But let's see if that can be the spark plug. E EJ Laure here on the service line for the Cherry Tigo squad. 16 serving 19 right now. That catches the line and the service ace goes to EJ Laure. Service error much more magnified at the tail end of every set. Coach Tato will field in their service specialist, Eugenia Rocha. The point goes to Chocomucho. By the way, sorry about that. Buding Dorendez, EJ, sets up the sister area. And Aya Laura gets their 17th point for Cherry Tigo. Back-to-back -back points for Aya Laura. Cherry Nuda comes back. Ooh. Some substitutions here by Coach Dante, Denden Lazaro inside with Maddie, Dina, Kate, Isa, and Cece on the floor. Reverse to Kate. Caitlin Virai just showing that she is a force to reckon with up front. As Coach Dante fields in. Valentino in place of Dina Wong. And Jen Ferrer in the place of Caitlin Verai with a double sub to ensure that he still has a three person or three spiking front line. 21 to 17 game. Good start here for Choco Mucho compared to their last game uh, against Signal. They lost in three sets. Jen Ferrer here. Ooh, slightly catches the net, goes through though. Yeah, Laura with a cross court. Gem sets up CC from the back. Catches the net for CC Rondina. Yeah, that's the first attack error for CC Rondina, actually. She has been such a consistent player all throughout this set. 
substitutions here on the side of Coach Aaron. As we see Cesc Robles enter. And the legation for Joy Micagande and Mylene Pat. Interesting. Who will be doing opposite duties here for Cherry Tigo? Is Robles going to be the opposite? Well, while her natural position is an open hitter or outside hitter. Right. And with a serve, CC first ball, gem, underhand set to cut. EJ. And she goes to Cesc. Gem goes to Isa this time. Cherry Tigo has it. And reverse set to Aya. The ball flies, and Isa Molde with that off speed hit. Squid set and attack is no good as Choco Mucho denies Cherry Tigo entry. And uh, the Cherry Tigo squad will call for a timeout as we check that last play more closely. We head on to Coach Aaron Velez and hear what he has to say. At saka nagbabalikan na tayo. Maganda ng decoy, sumabay na yung dalawa. Wala yes, tayo. Huwag tayong bibigay sa ground sa atin. Ha? Remember natin, huwag natin babaguhin yung kung anong plano natin. Kung ano yung sino sa saraduan natin, hindi pwedeng discarte lang tayo ng sarili doon. Nawawala yung floor pattern natin. Go, gaan na tayo. 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 Doc AJ, pag sinabi ni Coach Aaron, nawawala yung floor pattern natin. As a player, ano yung naiintindihan nyo with that kind of line? Uh, it, basically, it means that uh, the schemes or defensive schemes are not being followed. So the alignment of the floor defense to the block is or, or skewed. So something mm -hmm. like that. So something is just regroup for the floor. Just watch the blockers, which areas are open. Guard that area. Isa Molde with three points from two attacks. Right now, Eya blocked by her fellow USD Golden Tigress. But uh, that sailed out, and Cherry Tigo will get another score on the board. Eya yeah. putting enough power on that. In that previous outing, she was the one doing opposite duties. And now let's see if EJ will also do it. So that's a very interesting rotation for Cherry Tigo. Maddie off the block here. And Giacomo inches towards set point. Look at that powerful attack by Maddie. Utilizing the blockers on the Cherry Tigo side. It's 23 serving 19 right now. And reverses to Seth. Red well by CC and Cherry Nunad. So that is why it's a very interesting substitution to put Robles inside to do in the place of Kagande. Because it's forcing the Laura sisters to be opposites, which is not their usual specialty. And underhand set to EJ. Madi was there to cover. Wow, smart play there. Yeah, they're gonna, gonna call it an attack error as Molde was way beyond the attack line with her pipe mm. attempt. Set was a little too short for her. So the point will go to Cherry Tigo. Uh, Choco Mucho at set point right now. Cherry saves one set point as Pongay Gaston will serve. Jem, one hand set. Cat pushes it through. Attack from the back by Aya. CC flies. And that is it for the Choco Mucha squad. Courtesy of CC Rondina. As we look at that replay that sent us to the end of set one and gave the first set win over to the Chocomucha Flying Titans. Intense first 
set here. Game one of our quadruple header. It's 25 to 20 on the score, and we'll be back for more volleyball action. New streaming experiences also await via the Pilipinas Live app. Download and subscribe now for as low as 99 pesos per month, guys. Hope to see you guys on Pilipinas Live. As we check out set one highlights, Jokomucho was able to take that away and give their first set win here. And the dog AJ, what did you see Jokomucho doing right uh, here in set number one? the middle. Aya Laure was able to pick up some of the slack, but that clearly wasn't enough. Aya Laure had 4 out of 14 attempts, 29% efficiency, compared to Sisi Rondina, who had 7 or 8, the 8 good kills out of 15, so it's in the uh, high uh, 40s and 40, 50%, so that's the glaring difference between both teams, and we see it in the attacks. Blocks was equal. Well, blocks were equal for both teams, but it's really the firepower of Choco Mucho that really uh, was shining, especially from the middle of the first set. 31 minutes, a set one action. Cherry Tego versus Choco Mucho Flying Titans. It's a good start here for Choco Mucho squad compared to their last game against Signal, where they lost in three uh, sets. And uh, Kate Virai, Cherry Nunag. Tang Ponce, Sisi, Isa, and Dina will start off set on number two for the camp of Coach Dante. And we head on over to Coach Aaron Velez. And the, the Laure sisters will continue to stay on the court. Aimee Hernandez will see action. Join me, Buding, and Mylene Paat here for the girls in red. It's the PVL Invitational Conference. It's the last game for these both teams who are battling it out for seventh place. It's Yanni Mai here with Doc AJ Pareja and Kyla Castillo on the sidelines. Welcome and good morning, guys. Hope you have your breakfast. Hope you are filled today, but don't worry. We'll be giving you some volleyball action to satisfy that hunger. First game of the quadruple header as Dina starts us off. Reverses to Mylene Paat. Aya sets up EJ. Ooh, no coverage there for the Chocomucho squad. EJ finally getting her first point of the match. With that off the block attack against Virai. Coach Aaron Velez doing some changes in responsibility, putting Hernandez as the first middle, while Gaston is now the second middle. Aimee Hernandez with the serve. Isa. Dina goes to Kate. Red well there by EJ Laura and Pauline Gaston. Cherry Tigo once again off to a good start here. And let's see if they can sustain that momentum. Right. Same narrative in the first set. Cherry Tigo was leading, but Chocomucho was able to catch. 
match up here. It's 2 to 0 on the scoreboard. Aimee Hernandez, former UST Golden Tigress. She was fourth in blocks yeah, back in UAP season 85, and she gets a service ace now here in the Pro Leagues. Check that service ace out more closely. Isa Mother wasn't able to receive that well for the girls in purple. Aimi, Isa, Dina, Cece makes away. Join me. Quick set and attack to Pauline Caston. And we'll use this opportunity to get some stories from Kaila Castillo. Kaila? That first set was just pure hustle and dominance from Cece. And let me tell you, that is because she views and treats this game as a championship game. She told me earlier she woke up feeling grateful for another chance at life, another opportunity to showcase her passion and to inspire people. Nevertheless, whatever happens now, she says that there's no losing, just winning or learning. Panalo ngayong streaming experiences thanks to the Pilipinas Live app. Download and subscribe now for as low as 99 pesos per month. Yanni and AJ? I love that energy from CC. She's just grateful to be here, grateful to be alive. Good vibes for this wonderful morning. Oh, but that one is a service error for CC Rondina. It's a one to five point game here in set number two. Yeah, another slow start for Choco Mucho right now and they have to make up some points, especially that CC Rondina is back on the back row. That's service ace number two for Cherry Tigo just in this set alone. This received by Cece Rondina. Joy Mikagande with that serve. And Joy Mi continues to serve here. Cece with an up, but Dina goes to Isa. Who blocked by Ponga and Mylene Pat. Cherry Tigo playing a better defensive game here, putting Choco Mucho first out of system with their services, and then just closing the block because it's a predictable attack once Choco Mucho is already off system. Choco Mucho, best blocking team, is getting a taste of their own medicine with the Cherry Tigo squad as EJ Laure. Kate Veray answers back with a cross court hit. Defense of Cherry Tigo letting that go because they thought that it's just gonna be a soft attack from Veray. Cherry Nunag here on the service line, two serving seven. It's set number two. Over receive. Isa saw that coming and took advantage of that, dropping it over to the side of Buding Duremdes. Uh, service from Cherry Nunag almost sailing out, but Buding, Buding Duremdes getting it and causing an overpass. Buding didn't get the one in the first set, eh, so naisip niya kunin na When in doubt, to get the ball, Kate Viray. Brings the point up to four for Chocomucho. Just like that, lead is down to three. Jalen Bray doing a good job so far with those off-system attacks. Almost caught the net there. <laughs> As he's on Kate's reaction after that attack. Cherry continues to serve. Up. Dina sets it to Isa. Uh, that catches the net, and the point will go to Cherry Tigo as we head on over to our first technical timeout of set number two. We'll be back.
Experience a new way to feel the heart of volleyball. Watch every set, spike, dig, and block on any device, anytime, anywhere via the Pilipinas Live. Download the app now and subscribe for only 99 pesos per month. Welcome back. It's the Phil Sports Arena here in Pasig City as we witness the second set of the Cherry Tego and the Choco Mucho. And a lot of fans came out uh, for both teams today. We love the energy. It doesn't feel like an early morning game. It doesn't feel like the first game, actually. And uh, that will sail out for Cherry Tego and give Choco Mucho their fifth point on the board. Kate Verai will serve for the girls in purple. Verai currently has six points so far in the game with a reverse set to Mylene Paat in the Cherry Tego side. Tang Ponce will slow it down for Cece Rondina into the donut hole of the, of the Cherry Tego crossovers. Cherry Rondina is such a joy to watch, especially <laughs> from a beach volleyball standpoint. That's just classic, classic roll shot over the block. And this uh, will be the sign for Coach Aaron Velez to call a timeout. Let's listen to what he has to say. May block tayo. Ito naman yung pinapablock natin. Anong nangyari sa atin? Ni attempt. Wala tayong attempt. Nakita natin bumaksak. Ito nag-attempt. Pero sino pinakamalapit? Ito yung malapit, oh. Guys, simple lang yung nangyayari. Nag-aral tayo dito. I-apply natin. Oh, sige, go. So, like the whole time. Go! 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 Cherry! Tulong, tulong, man. Coach Aaron emphasizing to the team na pinag-aralan nila yung mga moves ng Choco Mucho. They just have to apply what they learned, what they prepared for here in this game. That's where scouting really comes in. Six uh, to eight ball game here with Kate Verai serving for the Flying Titans. Two-point game right now. It's set number two, and Giacomucho is slowly inching towards the Cherry Tigo squad. Good combination play there. Buding Doremdes goes to Aya Laure. Dina Wong. Isamualde pushes it. EJ. Join me to Pauline. Dina chooses CC from the back. Coverage there by Isa Molde. Joy Mika Gande got that ball as Mylene Pat pushes it. Isa! It's the same story as a while ago. Yeah, Isa Molde making some good adjustments there. Ball was very tight into the net and almost out of bounds, but Isa Molde just tipping it into the middle of the court. Isamol, the former UP women's volleyball team player. And Kate Verai will continue to serve here for Chocomucho. Aya Laure. That sails out too strong for Aya. And the point will go to Chocomucho. It's a deadlock here in set number two. It's a similar story in set number one. Cherry Tigo had a good start. Now finding some struggles. Kate Verai with that serve. Bongai Gascon stops the bleeding and gets Cherry Tigo up to nine. Yeah, it's actually Gaston who's doing that work for Cherry Tigo, stopping the bleeding in a couple of instances also in set number one. And speaking of Bongai. She'll serve here. CC Rondina with the first ball. Madi Madayag. Pancake save there by Joymi. And Choco Mucho has it. Madi will try with a stronger attack. Pauline sets up Mama P. And Mama P always ready, always reliable for the Cherry Tigo squad. Not the best of sets for Madi Pat. is a little too short inside the court. And just making some adjustments using the blocker advantage. She swipes it off of Madi Madayag's hand. And now, 
Pongai has four points from three blocks. Dina will set up Isa. Red well by Cherry CC. Tried to run for it. Uh, Cherry Tego will go up to 11 now in set number two. And just like that, three defensive stops employed by Cherry Tego. Look at that more closely. There was coverage there by the Chocomucho side. They weren't able to keep that ball in play, though. And Pauline will continue to serve here. CC first ball. Dina goes to Kate. That makes a way. And this is our opportunity to throw it over to Kyla Castillo for this report. Yes, Yanni and AJ, with how set two is playing out despite the two-point cushion of Cherry Tigo, I was reminded of the team's shortcoming according to Mama P. Communication daw ang kasalukuyang shaky talaga sa kanila. Hindi pa kaya yung tinginan lang. Kaya na. Marami pang kailangan trabahuhin. But nevertheless, the hunger is very much alive in the Cherry side of things. What they have to do now is reconnect and get on the same page. Now back to you, AJ, AJ and Yanni. Thank you for that insight, Kyla. As we see Cherry Tigo here. Trying to get another score. CC Rondina pushed it. Uh, and the first referee uh, will consult with the linesman on what happened there. He gives the score to the girls in red. And CC tried to clarify that yeah. one. <laughs> CC trying to contest that she swiped it off the block to touch the antenna, but referees will not honor that. So Cherry Tigo is back with a three-point lead, but it's bad news as CC Rondina is back up front with her full rotation going up against Kagande once again. So let's see if it's gonna be a similar story in set number one. Dina will go to CC. Powerful attack there. Jaime chooses Aimee coverage by Nierva. Aya pushes it wide. Cherry looking for a challenge. First referee says it sailed out. Um, Coach Aaron will not be challenging that last play. Well, once again, some struggles here for Aya Laure early on in set number two. Still scoreless out of four attempts. Maddie with two points from one attack and one block. Aya runs. Run and gun here for Aya Laura, and the point will go to Cherry Tigo. Could have been a clean attack for Aya Laura, but there's a net violation to be called first on Choho Mucho. Three point game here. Aya Laura, one of the rookies we've been looking forward to as she entered the pro leagues. Isa Molde. Joust on the net. Mylene will try to make a way and she gets it. Isa was not able to save that point. Back to back points for Mama P from the back row. She checked that replay out, getting the touch of Isa. And Aya will continue to serve 14, serving 10. Set number two. Slightly catches the net, goes through though. Cherry Nunag this time. And we're still waiting for Cherry Nunag to really pop off as yeah. we uh, highlighted her on the pregame as well, Doc AJ. Yeah, but she's actually doing well percentage wise. She had two out of four attempts, so that's 50% considering in the first set. And now she's two out of three, which is good 66%. So percentage wise, every time it's being set to Cherry Nunag, it's actually converting into points. Mm -hmm. Speaking of stats, Dina Wong with nine excellent sets. And again, Cherry with Kate and Virai blocked the entry of Cherry Tigo. Uh, Laura sisters continue to struggle here in this match. And as expected, it is Robles to come in for Aya Laura. Maybe to contribute some threat from the back with her pipe attacks. Something that it's sorely missing. It's only Pat who's doing some back row attacking responsibilities for Cherry Tigo. Jo uh, Cess got that one. Join me, chooses Aimi. EJ pushed that through. CC will do the same. 
and a tip over the block is good for CC Rondina. Yeah, and just like that, it's back to a one-point deficit for the Flying Titans. Expect them to close in this set while CC Rondina is up front. The crowd going wild here in Phil Sports Arena. Thank you everyone for joining us, whether that's through Pilipinas Live or here in the venue. 13 serving 14 now with Dina Wong taking the helm. Join me. Grand that. A knuckle pushes it over. CC elevates and attacks for Chocomucho. Right on cue, as I mentioned in the previous rally. They're going to tie this set while CC is up front. Going up against Kagande. It's definitely a mismatch. But something that uh, Coach Velez can consider in the next set is how to avoid Kagande in the line of attack of CC Rondina mm. Shift by shifting the rotations. At least field in Mama P up front so that it's going to force CC Rondina to vary her attacks. Deadlock at 14. Dina Wong with that service. Join me. Goes to EJ. Dina shoots a CC this time. And Doc AJ, you have been saying this throughout yeah. this game. <laughs> yeah, she's gonna attack the block of Agande. She has the major reach advantage, not height advantage, mm. reach advantage. And it's extra pressure for Aimee Hernandez to close in the gap, but regardless. Dina Wong gives that score to Cherry as that sailed out in her service. Quite the crucial service there for Chocomucho because it means that Cici Rondina is left with one rotation up front. Let's see if Chocomucho can capitalize on that as Aimee serves here. Then, then on the floor, combination play! I think Cece can hear us yeah. at some point. <laughs> she sends us to her second technical timeout. It's 16 to 15 with Chocomucho up on top. watch the best basketball players in the globe and cheer them on live inside the venues. The FIBA Basketball World Cup 2023 single game pass is now available for as low as 499 pesos. Get your tickets at SM Tickets, Ticketnet or philippines-ticketing.worldcup.basketball as we head on back to volleyball action. It's 16 to 15 right now. And that is a touch in favor of the girls in purple here in set number two. It's 17 to 15 on the score. J. Laura continues to struggle here in this match. Just one point out of six attempts here in set number two as Caitlin Virai is definitely taking charge while CC Rondina is back. EJ, Dina, underhand set. Isa will bump it. Join me quick set and attack there to Pauline. Dina goes to CC from the back row. Join me to Pauline as she pushes it. Kate Verai sends it over. EJ Laure blocked. That is inside Jenny Erba. So yeah. thought it would go outside. She was staring at the ball. Yeah, hesitation on both the part of 
Laura and Yerma, she could have covered her own attack at that instance, but she was expecting it to go out. Mm. So, similar story in set number one. Chocomucho just taking charge from the middle part of this set. Now they're up by three points. Their biggest lead so far in this set. Karandang will go in as Pongai heads to the bench. Joy me goes to Karandang. And the point will be awarded to Chocomucho. Four touches there on the Cherry Tigo side. Karandang not selling that slide attack. Gaston will be fielded back up, back in front. Mama Pia asking for some sets in the back row. She has her two lone points here in the set are from the back. CC serves 19 to 15. Joymi goes to Pongai. The running attack is good for Pauline Gaston. Gaston doing a much better job to once again ice the momentum of Chocomucho. But they'll need a lot of a lot more of that, especially now that Mylene Pat is in the front line. Jaime 16 serving 19 in set number two. Dina one-handed set cherry pushes it. Jan Nerva will set it to Mylene Paat. CC with that. Dina goes to Isa. Jaime goes back to Mama P. Ooh! No coverage there for the Flying Titans. Mylene Pat is definitely has that fire right now in front. It was a little bit silent for her throughout her rotation in the back, save for a couple of points. Seventeen to nineteen game. Choco mucho on top. But a timeout will be called by Coach Dante. Let's listen to what he has to say. Choco Mucho with that time out, Coach Dante giving them instructions as we enter set number two once again. It's 17 to 19. Choco on top. A while ago, Cherry was leading with a strong start. And Choco was able to catch up as they did in set number one. What have you been seeing, Doc AJ, that is, is an advantage for the Choco Mucha side? Compared to early on, how Cherry started both uh, set one and set two, they were more uh, aggressive with the services. They were targeting good spots in zone five and zone one. But now they're not being doing a uh, better job in getting Chocomucho out of system. Miscommunication there, but Isad made a way for Chocomucho. Bongai tried to take advantage. Then then will set up Kate. Mama P push and she finds an opening for Chocomucho. The point for Cherry Tigo rather. The point will go to them. Another Possibly clean point for Mylene Pat, but Cherry Nunak will be called for a net touch mm -hmm. violation. Jaime Kagande with that serve. Over receive. EJ pushes it back. Kate Garay will try, and that thunder is good for the Flying Titans. Yeah, that attack from Virai has been unanswered by Cherry Tigo. Those off-system attacks, the defense being a little more relaxed, seeing that it's not the best of sets, but Caitlin Virai just doing a good job in adjusting. Kate Virai with 11 points so far in this game, and Reg Arocha will come in for Coach Dante as a service specialist here in set number two. 20 serving 18 right now. Jaime chooses Mylene. Wow. What 
an honor to witness that attack from Mylin Pat. Mylin Pat with a hammer from the middle. A much needed confidence boost for Cherry Tigo. It is in their best interest to really capitalize on Mama P while she has the hot hands in mm. front. EJ Laure here serving for Cherry Tigo. One point game. Choco on top. Dina goes to Kate. Blocked. Dina with the coverage. Then then chooses Isa. Join me now. Goes back to Mylene. Dina back to Kate. Join me with the coverage. De Jen goes to EJ. And Choco Mucho read that like a book. Just not the day for EJ right now. As you've mentioned, EJ and Aya have been struggling with their points so far in the game. Uh, substitutions as Aya comes back in and Kat and Jem go in for Dina and Kate in the camp of Coach Dante. So once again, fielding in a full front line. Uh, adding more pressure for Aya Laure now that Tolentino is in front. Much bigger blocker. Pauline blocked. They go to Aya. Ponce was there. Isa cross court. Jen with that dig. EJ this time finds a way down the line. Much needed point for EJ Laure. And it's a good decision for Kagande to go for the back row attack. Aimee Hernandez comes in for Cherry Tego as Pongai will serve 20 to 21. They have a full front line right now. This is the best time for them to gain some momentum while Cici Rondina is still in the back row for Choco Mucho. Pongai with six points, five attacks, one block. A pancake save for Choco. Oh, and uh, miscommunication there for the Flying Titans. Cherry Tigo will go up as a deadlock, 21. Some hesitation a while ago in that previous play by Kat Tolentino, uh, giving that point to the Cherry Tigo crossovers. 21-point ball game here. Gem underhand set. Ooh. Chocomucho was able to keep that in play. Aya. Ooh, that sails wide. Yeah. Aya saw it, saw the wide open air with that cross angle while the defense of Chocomucho were in shambles. But just overcooking it. That's her third attack error out of six attempts and no score yet. So, not your usual Aya. Isa Molde with five points from one attack and one ace. 22 to 21. Aimee Hernandez, though, from the bench, will give a Cherry Tego a tie to Chocomucha 22. Aimee Hernandez finally joins the fray when it comes to attacking. That's her first attack point of the match, at least by my count. We're going to need a lot of that. But now, Cici Rondina is in front for Choco Mucho. And we know that what that means, but Maddie Madayag found a way, Cherry Tigo. And Choco Mucho here, Kat Tolentino, sword. Join me, goes to Mylene from the back, Kat Tolentino. Gem to Cici. Coverage by Denden. Isa from the back row. Aimi tried with a Stab. She does it again. CC down the line. Yeah. So much you don't need to do some combinations at this point. As CC has that clear reach advantage to go for a down the line attack, she can do that for days right now. CC that powerful attack pushes the Cherry Tigo crossovers to a timeout. And let's listen in and see their huddle here. 
yung laro na sa inyo na yan eh. Importante lang maglaro lang kayo magkaka sa gagawin. Ang gabi dito tayong obvious ha. Yan nandito ka na, di ba? Kanto-kanto yung atake ng gilid ha. Gamit ang kamay. Let's go. Laban natin guys. Go go go. Laban laban. Cherry. Bye. It's a heated bench here for the Cherry to go squad. They are down by one point, and earlier in this set, they, were, they had the lead. And Chocomucho was able to knock on their doors here in the latter part of the set. Of course, with the help of CC Rondina, Cat yeah. Tolentino with Jem Ferrer now in the latter part of set number two. I wouldn't be surprised if the last two points that they need are going to come from uh, Cherry Rondina with those down-the-line attacks. Maddie with a crucial serve. Aya, join me. Goes back to Aya. Blocked and no coverage there. Block point courtesy of Pat Tolentino. Yeah. This is bad news with Kat and Cherry Nuna up front. It's a very tall front line, especially against the left side hitters for Cherry Eagle, so Kagande must activate Paat from the right side right now. Underhand set, Aya Laure. Down the line, catches it uh, inside of the court. And Cherry Tigo go up here in set number two as we check that out more closely. Aya Laure finding that narrow gap between Tolentino and the antenna to get her first attack point for set Aya number two. 23 serving 24. Jem Ferrer, one handed set. Cat Tolentino find a way. EJ just pushed it. Cat with that big. Join me, goes back to EJ. Above the double blockers. Jem Ferrer will go to CC. Block. Cat Tolentino unable to keep that ball in play and they save a set point. Set a little too short for CC Rondina, forcing her to attack. The block of Fernandez. She has been doing some damage attacking the line, but not in that instant. Coach Dante fields in Dina Wong and Kate Virai back into the court. As Aya Laura with a crucial serve, 24 all here in set number two. Isa first ball. Dina to Cherry. Off speed hit there. Combination play, EJ. Dina, she's a CC. The ball is still alive. A chance ball here for Chocomucho. Cherry Nuna this time will push Chocomucho to 25 and set points. Yeah, you were asking when Cherry will pop off, then this is definitely the time for her. I've got to give a lot of credit to those saves by Nierva. Crowd is on a frenzy. Cheering on Chocomucho and Dina Wong as they serve. Join me to Mylene from the back. Too strong and Mylene Pat. Oh, there's a challenge here on the Cherry Tigo side. A block touch over on the camp of coach Aaron Velez. This is going to be a Hail Mary challenge for <laughs> Cherry Tigo. As the crowd here cheering on the Choco Mucha and Ter Cherry Tigo squads. This could be a game changer for them should they win this challenge. Block touch challenge called by Coach Aaron. They're seeing if uh, a Choco Mucha player Touched the ball before it sailed out. Chocomucho hoping that uh, we, there's nothing caught on camera or there wasn't any block touch. And we see the replay. Nope, not even close. And the cherry pickle will forfeit set number two. Chocomucho 
Up by two sets here as that challenge is unsuccessful for coach Aaron Velez. Chocomucho fans are delighted with the result. And we'll see if Cherry Tigo will be able to extend this game or if Chocomucho can bring us home at 24 to 26 in favor of Chocomucho Flying Titans. We'll be back. Welcome back to the Field Sports Arena here in Pasig City. It's a PBL Invitational Conference with Cherry Tigo and Choco Mucho in their classification game here. Set number two was a delight to watch as they were neck and neck. And we have Doc AJ to tell us more about that. Yeah, it's a similar story from set number one where Ch Cherry Tigo was off to a great start. They were leading by as much as four or five points early on. But once CC Rondina was back up front for Choco Mucho, they capitalized on that once more with those down, down the line attacks. Then the tide just shifted in the middle of the set. Cherry Tigo was able to get some points in towards the end, but wasn't really enough to uh, decimate the lead of Choco Mucho. We can see that they were able to put in more attacks compared to their first set. But uh, Choco Mucho was just a little bit more dominant towards the end of the set. Uh, as I've me been mentioning, the Laura sisters continue to struggle from the left wing. EJ had 0% efficiency because she had two attacks but cancelled out by two errors also. While Aya had one attack cancelled out by, by four errors. So that's she's on the negative right now. Whereas on the other side, CC Rondina... Uh, 38%, 5 out of 14 attacks, 38% still respectable uh, from her first set. And it's actually Cherry Nuna who has the highest percentage for Chocomucho right now. She had 50 in the first set, 43% from 3 attacks out of 7. So, so far, and Caitlin Verai also uh, picking up the uh, pressure up front, so the three highest efficiency players are now in the front line for Chocomucho. We have set number three action coming in your way. We'll see if Chocomucho can end this here in this set or if Cherry Tico can extend it. CC Rondina denied access by the Cherry Tico squad. It's one to zero now in set number three. Yeah, this is... Uh much needed stopper for Cherry Tigo. Just stop Cherry Rondina's rampage early on. It's a 1 0. Aimee Hernandez will continue to serve. 
little bit of a lull because they are just cleaning up the court so that none of the players slip. Here we have it. Ooh. Cherry Nuna just saves that barely. Pauline Gaston with the dagger. And we'll take this opportunity to go to Kyla Castillo for this report, Kyla. How confidence starts from within. At sabi niya nga hindi niya nag, hindi naman naging madali. Pero sa tulong ng kanyang coaches at teammates, natutunan niya ulit magtiwala sa kanyang sarili at sa kanyang decision making. In acknowledge niya nga rin yung shortcomings ng Cherry Tigo. At sabi niya, para daw kasi silang diesel. Slow starter. At sa dulo na lang daw bumibilis. Kumahabol. Kaya madalas kinakapos. But on the bright side, she said that kapag nasimula naman na raw, ay sabay-sabay silang iinit at lalaban. New streaming experiences await you via the Pilipinas Live app. Mag-download at mag-subscribe na for only 99 pesos per month. AJ and Yanni. Thank you, Kaila, for that report. And we see here Takomucho get their first score on the board uh, as Joy Mika Gande on the court. CC Rondina, Rondina continues to serve. Serves rather. Cherry Nuna just tipped that in. <laughs> Another block point for Cherry Nuna. Two on the score now. First deadlock of set number three. And now CC continues to serve. Join me back set to Mylene. So Pat. A little silent in set number one and two. She had like a run of her uh, scoring, but that's but a lot more to expect from Mylene Pat when it comes to scoring. And that uh, serve catches the net. Uh, Mylene Pat uh, gives that point to the Chocomucha squad. Another interesting shuffle in the part of Coach Vélez right now, interchanging again both middles. Hernandez back to the second middle position, Gaston in the first, and interchanging also those open hitters, the Laura sisters. And that was good for Pauline Gaston. And let's see if that uh, changes from Coach Aaron. Will allow them to get their first set win here in this match. It's EJ Laure on the service line. Four serving three right now. So far, Gaston doing a better job as the first middle because she can uh, do the slide better, the slide attack. Powerful attack there by Kate Viray. Kate Viray, 2 for 3 Banking on her. Continue to bank on her previous good performance in set number 2. So this is the rotation that needs to step up more for Choco Mucho. Isamolde has struggled in this match when it comes to scoring. She's on the negative when it comes to percentage as well as Madi Madayag. Dina goes to Kate Veray again, down the line. Pauline tried to push that, oh, and the A. Laura catches the net with that attack. Too low for her. Just not her day today. It's 5-4 to four with Chocomucho on top. Kate Veray has 13 points from 11 attacks and two blocks in this game. Joymi chooses Aya, blocked coverage by Jen. Joymi reverses to Pauline. Dina goes to Maggie and Maggie says, give me touches, I will make a way. So a different story now for Choco Mucho. They have the better start. They're looking to close this game in three as Madi Madayag just towering in the middle. Right. And that attack, she in the middle of that single block, yeah. that narrow gap. Yeah, we call it the goalpost. Oh. <laughs> like it for <laughs> football, right? Yeah. And the Toko Mucho once again. Let's see if Madi Madayag as you check that out that last play. She just pushes it. 
to the other side, takes advantage of that ball, and Kate Ferrari will continue to serve. Jaime goes back to Aya, blocked. Jen sets up EJ. Too strong for EJ Laure. Sails out and Choco Mucho will send us to our first technical timeout here in set number three. We'll be back with more volleyball action. Dina Wong has been showing up for the Chocomucho squad in this game. Kate Verai will serve. Ooh, and uh, the first ball of Jen Yerba is no good for Cherry Tigo. Service is coming from Verai. She's been playing well in this match, doing damage in front, and now also providing some much needed scores from the service area. Benai has been serving even before the technical timeout. She's been there for a while. Ah, <laughs> excited. <siya. laughs> yeah, a little too excited on that. <laughs> serving before the whistle. <laughs> She's been there now, guys. Ang tagal na sa service line. Okay, let's see if uh, this has any effect to her service. It's nine serving four in set number three. Budeng with that first ball, over receive and a dunk by Maggie Madayag. She did that a while ago yes, as well. Yeah, that's her second gift from the crossovers. And the timeout will be called on you from the Cherry Tigo squad. Coach Aaron rallying his troops. Let's see what he has to say. <laughs> AJ, correct me if I'm wrong, it's the first ball that needs more work for Cherry Tigo. Yes, yes, definitely. They cannot mount any attacks. And so far, it's just one kill point from Pat a while ago and two uh, kill points from Gaston. So they need a lot of work establishing their offense first, and it starts with a good pass. It's 10 serving for Gate Benai has been here in the service line, and she's been doing well. EJ sets up Aya. Reverse set and attack to, by Kate Verai. She's sending herself to the service line at this yeah. point. <laughs> she doesn't want to stop serving and she's actually three for five in this set alone. So big, big points for Virai at 60% efficiency. Yes, Coach Aaron will field in Robles for EJ Laure. You see the reaction of Aya Laure from my perspective as a lip reader. Wow. Sabi niya, sabi ko nga. Pasok service ace for Kate Verai. From one try tigress to another. <laughs> but Verai playing probably her breakout game in this conference. Short stab is good by Pauline Gaston. Yeah, and once again, it's her stopping the run of Choco Mucho. 
But right now, Kagande is going to be serving. It's five serving 12. Uh, there was a call here. An error on the side of Cherry Tigo. Uh, looks like they're clarifying the rotation. Yeah. Yeah, I'm actually surprised that Kagande was serving because she's usually in front with Rundina, but they shifted the rotation a little bit to mm -hmm. avoid Kagande being uh, up front against Rundina for a three rotation. So they're going to rotate one, and Paat will be up against CC. Seven. Aimee tried to make a way there. Dina sets up Kate. And Kate catches the line. It's not the first time she did that. Jeez. It has been a Caitlin Verai show for set number three for the Flying Titans. Look at that deep and caught the black, the end line of Cherry Tigo as Tisa Molde will continue to serve 14 to 5. Within the Remdes with a dive, Mylene Pat. That set was too short for Mama B. Coach Aaron will now call a timeout to rally his troops once again. Let's listen to what he has to say. For the first game. Guys, um, best of character kasi lahat ng play, di ba? May gustong gawin ng statement. Mental na talo. Seniors, Push tayo. Huwag kayong magkakunta na sa crowd. Kailangan natin may kalmado. It doesn't matter kung ano yung result. Importante, dala-dala natin yung sarili natin. Okay, we have to represent. Kasi ang nangyayari yung pasa natin, doon agad pinapakita natin eh. Standard yun. Sino tayo? Cherry! Coach Aaron reminding his team to calm down, concentrate on the first pass. But during that time out, uh, the crowd went wild chanting Ea Laura's name. It's 15 to 5 right now with Isa on the service line. Jaime reverses to Aimi. Dina will go to CC. Cross court with Ingrenda. That push, uh, Mali Madaya was trying to take advantage of yeah. the over-receive. Uh, trying to go for that end line, but overcooking it. Masyadong malakas para kay Madi. But it's an error they can afford for now. <laughs> for now. <laughs> they have a nine-point advantage. The narrative actually has shifted here. Usually, Cherry leads, it, as we saw in set one and two, but... Chocomucho now with a comfortable advantage. Yeah, now, this is the matchup that I've been wanting to see since the start of the match. It's Pat against Rondina. So let's see how Rondina will adjust her play with a bigger block in the line. So let's see if she's going to go for more angle attacks right now. Puding Doremdes on your screens, but that serve is courtesy of Jaime Kagande. And the second technical timeout point will go to Choco Mucho. We'll be back for more volleyball action. for the first time in this game. 
against the Cherry Tigo squad. Maadi with five points from four attacks and one block. So far, Agayan goes to Aya. And one of those rare points, as you pointed out a while ago, Dr. AJ. Yeah, much needed one for Aya Laure, hammering. That's her classic, <laughs> classic power from Aya Laure. Uh, want to see more of that in this match, and hopefully it's not too late for the Cherry Tigo crossovers yet. Aya Laure was third in spiking back in the UAAP season 85. First in points with 268 as she racked that up throughout the season. Rookie of the Year in Season 81 and the first best outside spiker back in the UAAP as she serves. Dina chased that one. And Dina cross court. A chase here by Joy Mikagande over a seed. Bea tried to make a way and she does take advantage of that over a seed. Bea de Leon makes the crowd go wild with that regalo. Chokamuche fans <laughs> dominating the arena. So still a strong front line for Chokamuche with CC and Virai up front. 17 to 8. Mylene Paa tries to the cross court. Jouts at the net. Aimi Hernandez pushes it. Ponce sets up Kate. And she gets it off of the block of Aimi and Cesc Robles. Caitlin Vidai, five big attacks out of seven attempts. That's a really, really big efficiency right now for set number three. It's a 10-point yeah. game. The tides have turned top AJ. Yeah, actually, CC has been silent here in set number three. But Caitlin Vidai continues to be a, continues to be bad news for Cherry Tigo. Cherry Tigo will get uh, that ninth point from that. Error by the Chocomucha side. Amy Hernandez back here on her service line. It's nine serving 18 right now in set number three. Isa with that first ball as Dina goes to Kate. She powers through the double block of Pat and Gaston. Yeah, once again, Caitlin Verai show here in <laughs> set number three. Caitlin Verai with the hot hands, but someone that Tokomucha has been relying on as well is Cece Rondina. She has been the backbone for set number one and two. And just enough time to warm up Verai. Mylene made away with that. Caitlin with a dig. Isa pushes it. Buding had that one as Joymi will set up Seth. Buding again. Joymi back. Goes to Pauline. Cece with a run. No good, good effort though by Cece Rondina. Ponga Gaston, the lone bright star for Cherry Tigo here in set number three. Four big points out of six attempts. So that's around 60, 66% efficiency. That's really high. But over on the other side, Virai, six out of eight, 75%. <laughs> wow. Good numbers here for Kate Virai as we see Mylene Pat with 15 points, 10 attacks. Three blocks and two service aces. Let's see if she can make that a third service ace. And get that score for Cherry Tigo. And then, then with the first ball over a seed. An overreach by Dina Wong. She looks like she saw it coming. <laughs> she knew. She knew. <laughs> Tried to hide it a bit. There. And there we have the reaction. <laughs> Mylene Pat here, serve. Dina will go to Isa. Blocked by Pauline. Cherry Tego slowly inching towards the Chocomucha squad. Yeah, a little too short though, for the set of Dina Wong. And Maidin will continue to serve. It's 12 to 19 in set number three. Dina chooses BDL. Single block by Pauline, the former teammate. Kate Virai gets it off of Cess 
Alexi Robles to give Chakamucha the 20th point. In system, off system, Caitlin Veray has been super reliable in this match, especially in this set. Micah Ortiz on your screens. It's her first time seeing action in this game. The last time she was fielded in was on July 1, just before the break, versus Photon. Choco also won in three sets in that game, by the way. Total block points, nine for Cherry, six for Chocomucho. The point will go to the Flying Titans. And not just with attack, you can rely on Virai with the block. Bea De Leon will serve. Service. I believe it's her first time serving. It's 21 serving 12 right now. Chocomucho up by two sets. Let's see if they can bring this one home or if Cherry Tigo. But if that's an indicator, <laughs> BDL with a service ace. Chocomucho inching closer to a victory. Captain BDL. 22 serving, 12 crucial serve for the Chocomucha squad if they want to close this game out. Jaime goes to Cesc, former teammates and collegiate teammates now in the pro CC from the pipe. Jaime up to Aya and another point for Aya Laure. This is something that they can do more often. Aya has been, a lot of her points early on are also coming from the back row. But now she's in front. <laughs> mm. Says Robles. Finals MVP back in season 84. Hailing for, from Iloilo City. Oh, first ball no good for Chocomucho, but Isa saved it as a rainbow will go to Cherry Tigo. Joy Me sets up Aya. Double block by Chocomucho. Joy Me with a knuckle. Dina. Chooses Kate. Buding to Mylene Pat. Coverage here by the Chocomucha squad. Lazaro Revilla goes back to Kate. And Joymi reverses to Pauline. A chase here. Dina Wong will keep that ball in play as Isa Molde sends it over. Aya tries once again. Too strong for CC to chase it. Aya Laure coming alive here towards the end of set number three. Let's see if this could be a much-needed start of a momentum run for Cherry Dio as their backs are against the wall right now. 14 serving, 22. Says Robles on our service line. CC first ball. Dina to Kate. But I just unguarded here in set number three. We have some substitutions going on for Coach Dante. Jem Ferrer and Kat Valentino goes in for Kate and Dina here in the last stretch for Choco Mucho. But we'll see if Cherry Digo can tie or take this first set win for them. Virai so far with 22 points, 17 attacks, 3 blocks, and 2 aces. She got 11 points just in set number 3. That's half of her scores. Jem Perel will set it to Cato Lentino. A joust at the net, though. CC makes a way here, says Robles. Covers. They go to Ea. Cato Lentino tries, and that Chocomucho, there's match point here in set number three. Yeah, that right wing has been the main of Cherry Eagle throughout this set number three. Whether it be Verai or Telefino. And in the previous timeout by Coach Aaron, that's what he emphasized too, that uh, Chocomucho is targeting their wings as Mylene Pat will make a way over-receive there. 
Ponce slows it down for Isa Molde. Right in between the double block of Terry as Aya tries to score a gem with a one-handed knuckle set as CC pushes it. Joymi goes to Pauline Gaston. And because of that touch, they save a match point. Yeah. Pongay Gaston just perfect on the first middle position right now because she has been doing a lot of damage with her slide attacks. Actually, she has five out of eight attempts. The only one with the respectable efficiency for Charity Go here in set number three. Pongay Gaston with that serve. Jem Ferrer chooses. it on a high, courtesy of Micah Ortiz. Great end for the girls in purple. As they finish the Invitational Conference here in the PBL on a high. And the crowd, of course, to thank for the energy here in our first game. Honestly, I can't believe it's the first game. This was too intense. <laughs> Cherry to go versus the Chocomucho Flying Titans as they face each other here in protocol. Beautiful game here. Chocomucho wins in three sets as they lost in their previous game in three sets as well. Bounce back talaga ang girls in purple. Relive this game and all PBL games and stories anytime, anywhere on the Filipinas Live app. Download and subscribe now for as low as 99 pesos per month. Choco Mucho bringing us home in three sets and we'll be back to wrap this game up. We just saw Choco Mucho bouncing back from a three-set defeat in their last game. Now with a three-set win against the Cherry Tigo crossovers. And speaking of Choco Mucho, we head on to Kyla Castillo as we have the player of the game. Kyla, what do you have for us? Yes, Yanni and AJ, I'm now with our best player of the game, Caitlin Virai. She emerged as the titan of the game. Congratulations, Caitlin. Now, for our first question, please take us into your mind during that game. Ano yung tumatakbo sa isip mo? Um, my 
mindset kami na kailangan maganda yung end namin para um, madala namin next conference. At least mag, matatapos kami ngayon na makakapagpahinga kami knowing na binigay namin yung best namin. Yes, Caitlin. So what does this mean, this win mean to you and the team? Uh, mahalaga siya. Uh, super um, uh, nakakataas ng moral na um, kahit hindi namin nakuha yung goal namin this um, conference, still uh, maganda naman yung pinakita namin. And yeah. So Caitlin, tell us, paano nyo na-maintain yung level of aggressiveness and consistency throughout the game? Actually, medyo slow start pa nga kami, pero maganda doon is kinapitan namin, nilaban namin, um, and hindi kami bumitaw. Okay, Caitlin, meron ka bang gustong batiyan? Pasalamatan, please go ahead. Hi sa family ko, Mama, Papa, Clarky, hello, uh, Viray family, um, sa Choco Mucho Management, thank you so much sa fans, and yun lang, thank you. There you have it, Yanni, AJ, ladies and gentlemen, our best player of the game, Caitlin Veray of the Choco Mucho Flying Titans. Back to you. Congratulations to Caitlin Veray. Thank you, Kyla Castillo, for that. And of course, uh, we end this match in three sets as we check out uh, everything that happened a while ago. And this morning, Doc AJ, what stood out for you and what are the things that you know these teams might need to work on in the next conference? Yes, definitely a breakout performance for Caitlin Veray, but building off that uh, backbone of Cherry Rondina's performance in set number two, he was actually Cherry was actually neutralized in set number three. She didn't have any scoring out, maybe because it was finally the rotation where Pat was up front against her, but Caitlin Veray just taking over for Chocomucho in set number three, be it in the front or in the back. She also had a couple of service aces. Over at Cherry Eagle, Lone Bright Star, Pauline Gaston with those slide attacks was something that they can build on for the next conference is how to set up to the advantage of Pongai Gaston and get some heat off the wing spikers, especially the Laura sisters. Uh, Mylene Pat will be expected to still do a lot of points for Cherry Tigo, but unless they can establish their first pass or first defense, it's also going to be tough for Mama P to deliver the goods. So all in all here, as we can see, attacks Choco Mucho clearly more dominant despite the blocks put up by Cherry Tigo. And uh, Cherry Tigo and Choco Mucho go back uh, to the drawing board as they end their invitational conference here. Chocomucho at seventh place. Cherry Tigo takes the eighth place. Of course, uh, later on, we'll have some semifinals action. Uh, F2 Cargo Movers versus a PLDT High Speed Hitters. Dreamline versus Signal. And a Vietnam versus Japan to cap us all off here in the broadcast. Thank you very much on behalf of Derek Alneri, Doc AJ, Kyla Castillo, the segment producers, and the people of the truck. This is the PVL Invitational Conference, the heart of volleyball. going to i batch ko na gusto ko i-end yung career ko na mag-champion. Pakaramdam ko nga na wala well, doon na kaya ako mag, ano, magtatagal sa F. Oh, dapat lang, girl. Ano ka? Ano, lipat ulit? Sayo.